wonderful that Mrs. Daniels got Teacher of the Year. I'll have to go congratulate her I'm, the next time I'm on my way to the first floor bathroom. Kudos to her. If I ever got an award like that, my career would be over. My name would be Edward. I'd never want that. Okay, okay. Now that we're done here, where should we meet for our next meeting? We can have it in my room. We'll call her in and talk about it. Okay, sounds good. The students have really impressed us this year with their Keystone scores. Who knew they had it in them? Not a surprise. Mrs. Daniels is a wonderful teacher. However, with finals so close, there is talk that the students will simply drop because of all the stress. And how do Mrs. Daniels and Mr. Macy feel about this? They are very talented and have ensured that their students will do great. All right. Is something wrong? Since the last teacher of the year has retired, we have to find a new one. You're right. We must do that soon. I have an idea. And what is that? How about Marianne Daniels? All the students love her. It's perfect. Send an email out to everyone immediately. My mind's been made up. Our new teacher of the year is Mrs. Daniels. Where were you? Down at the office. Some kid covered my entire desk in glitter. You, I gave him a detention. You'll never guess what happened to me. I was fishing this weekend. I ran out of bait. So I went to shore to ask some guy for some bait. He told me no. So guess what I did? I stole his tackle box. Pretty sure it's five days more than enough for a nine page essay. Oh my, you guys are like a cult in here. Well, if it isn't Mrs. Daniels, or should I say, Teacher of the Year. The what? Yeah, Teacher of the Year. You're way on, well on your way to becoming head of the English department. Wait, really? Is that what you guys think? At this rate, you can honestly say goodbye to holding any chances of having a notable title. Yeah, he's kind of right. I mean, it'll be a long time before any opportunities arise for you, Jason. However, if Lucian follows in your footsteps, he has a chance of being head of the department. Wait, go back. Did you actually think that I couldn't be head of the department? Well, it's 4 o'clock. My history show is on at 4.30, and I cannot miss it. Yeah, I gotta get going, too. It's Nathan's birthday. Imagine Lucian becoming head of the English department. Well, there's actually a good chance you could become head of the English department. Mary Ann, Jen really officially dubbed you Teacher of the Year. Kevin was right. Congrats. Do you really think that Lucian will grow up one day and become head of the department? Well, no one can really know. The future is a mystery at all, and no one can truly. Well, considering Kevin was right about me becoming Teacher of the Year, I wonder if his other predictions are going to come true. How would I even get to become head of the department? Uh, the spot is already taken by Jen Burley. Would she resign, or would I have to go take another approach? Marianne? Oh, yeah, sorry. How about we meet another time? All right, have a good night. Marianne, you've done so well recently regarding the multitude of tests that have been thrown at you and your students. Being named Teacher of the Year truly is a tremendous accomplishment. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That means so much to me. You're welcome. Jason? These triumphs with your, for your triumphs with this test, here's a mug. Thank you. And Amy, my dear, when I retire, I hope you become my successor and become head of the English department one day. Thank you, Jen. Now let's go ahead to Mary Ann's room to display her plaque and discuss some things. Sounds good to me. Let me just text my son-in-law first. Of course. Leslie as future head of the department. To become head of the department, I only have two options. Step over her or just simply give up. I must do whatever it takes, even if I have to turn a blind eye to my own actions. Mary Ann truly is a brilliant teacher. Now let's accompany her to her room. History teachers have recently visited me. They told me that I was teacher of the year. I assumed it wasn't real until Carrie informed me. I just think it's super strange how they told me before an email was even sent out. Trust me, I checked it later. But they even went so far as to say that I'm going to be the future head of the English department. Please don't tell anyone what I've told you yet. Bye. Wow. Teacher of the year. She deserves it. She deserves so much more. Like the head of the English department, too. But I don't think she could, she could handle even taking it. You're such an ambitious woman. But you're also very kind. Too kind. You want things, but you don't have the energy to take them. But don't worry. I'll help you out. Mr. Nunn, uh, Mrs. Daniels told me that her and Burley will be here soon, so... Oh, right. Thank you. After today, Jennifer Burley shall no longer be a teacher at Holmesdale High School. I will ensure it. I'll have to leave my kind soul behind and do what it takes to ensure that she's fired. 
Well, look who it is. Miss Teacher of the Year. And also, soon to be head of the English department. Mrs. Burley should be here soon. She went to her room to grade some tests. She said she'll be here in about an hour. Good. Within that time, we will ensure that she will never teach another day in the school. Pretend that all is well, but secretly, we'll be plotting the end of her career. How about we talk about this later? Do not worry. Don't be suspicious. I'll take care of it. If I'm gonna go about this plan, then maybe you do it fast, without suspicion. If people were to find out it was me, there would be consequences. Jen trusts me so much, though, and to go plotting behind her back like this and ruin her life? She's a good leader. People would be sad about it. Have you heard anything? Where I just wants to know if you're ready to meet that. Don't tell me you're checking out. I, I feel bad. I was just named Teacher of the Year, and to go and do this, it just feels rude. What changed? Are you afraid? You say you want this, and that you're not willing to take it. I, I, this is crazy, Joe. Stop it. What happened to the boldness you had before? It's simple. It's easy. All we have to do is just get proof that Burley's a terrible teacher. You're my mother-in-law. All I want is for you to be happy and get what you want. Something bad might happen to us. Nothing bad will happen. If we're more confident, tomorrow all we have to do when Burley really gets fired is act all sad and concerned. Okay, I'll make sure I do that. Thank you, Joe. Mary Ann, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just checking my mailbox. What are you doing here? Well, I've been hearing some pretty bad things about Miss Burley recently, and I want to come here and see what the big deal was. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Did you have senior papers or something to grade? Shoot, you're right. I have to hurry up. <sighs> do I really want to do this to her? I mean, Jennifer's always been so nice to me. However, she's horrible as the head of the English department. <sighs> this is just something that needs to be done. We've done all we can, and we what, what if he suspects something? Like, what if this just all backfires? What's done is done. We can't worry anymore. Now go home and rest. We have to act like we know nothing tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to sleep for days after this. Are you coming to the dinner on Friday? Yeah, of course. I want to sleep in the world. Did you hear about Jen? Yeah, awful thing, huh? Heard someone reported her for some trivial stuff. Must have had it out for her. <laughs> Who would do a thing like that? I thought everyone loved her. Me too, and now I have a bunch of classes to cover until the district hires someone else. But kids talk. The truth will show up somewhere. You have it all, Mrs. Daniels. The head of the English department, teacher of the year. It's just like how the history department predicted it. But what about my side of what was said? My son is supposed to be head of the department. Ah, oh, Mr. Macy, have you heard of the department meeting tonight? Uh, yes, I have. Something wrong? I have so many papers to grade that are due soon. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I know just before the meeting, you can work on grading for a little bit. You could probably get it done before the meeting starts. That sounds like a great idea. Hello, Mrs. Daniels. Is your room sparkling clean as always? Of course. I would never leave it a mess for you guys. But you know whose room is always an absolute mess? Mr. Macy's. Man, he really doesn't seem to know how hard you guys work. Don't you just wish he could just leave his room clean? It doesn't matter. We're just the janitors anyways. It's what we get paid for. You know, for a paper in his classroom, his room is somehow still a mess. It doesn't matter, though. We're just as disposable anyways. No, no, that's not true at all. Maybe this could work for me. Say, there's a meeting tonight. Would you be willing to do me a favor for a bit of a pay raise and a bit of payback? Pay raise? Payback. We'll get someone to do it. Lock the door to his classroom. Leave him there and let him out at the end of the meeting. Got it. Where's Mr. Macy? I'm not sure. It's not like him to not attend a meeting as big as this one. Ask Mrs. Daniels where he is. Mr. Macy's locked in his room. Marianne, you can't keep up with these charades of yours. Someone's bound to find out about what we've done. 
It's not like they'll be able to tell Davidson just retired unless it got transferred to a dis different district. The, they were up next to becoming the department head. So what is there to worry about? People will just think it was them who did it. Your room is a mess again, I see. What? It's not that bad. Have a nice night, Mr. Macy. You as well. No, I have to go to my meeting. I'm gonna get fired for this. Couldn't find him anywhere. Well, let's get this meeting off to a start then. Well, congratulations on your promotion. Yeah. Congratulations, congratulations, Mrs. Daniels. But wait, what about Mr. Macy? He isn't even here yet. This is the third important meeting that he's missed. What do we do now, Mrs. Daniels? Come haunt me. Oh no, what have I done? What's wrong, Mrs. Daniels? Mr. Macy? Nothing! Nothing's wrong. Mrs. Daniels is tired. Yeah, she's been very tired with the whole I'm out of the department shtick now. You've got to understand where she's coming from, right? Mm, I suppose so. I know if I was in this situation, I'd be pretty stressed too. But does she have to leave? No, no. I can assure you she's fine. Yes, yes, I'm fine. What, what, what's the business about Mr. Macy then? He's not here. Where is he? I don't think he showed up. This is the third time already. He can't keep skipping out on meetings like this. He knew he got a warning the second time he's missed. I may believe it is in our best interest to finally put a stop to his nonsense. All in favor of voting him out? Well, I suppose the meeting is adjourned then. Mrs. Daniels needs to get some sleep. <laughs> Well, don't look so happy, Kim. Happy? How could you meddle in this? Jason wasn't supposed to get fired. I missed one meeting because of my son's basketball game, and you defy me like this? Fix this now. You should have been the ones fired. How are we supposed to fix this? Figure out a way to get him back. This won't look good for us. I really just don't get it. How hard is it to understand that the Cherokee Indians were not at the Sand Creek Massacre? We went over this in class. Quick, do it now. Beware, Lockwood. The only one to take your position as head of the English department is someone who has not been employed at the school consecutively for over three years. Your position as the head of the English department may only be taken once the library moves. I'm terribly sorry, but Kevin ran to wall and Paul Pat. I don't know why. Please think rationally. I'll talk later. I can't believe this. He just went up and left his children? How do you feel about your dad left? Hello? I'm so sorry for calling you so abruptly, but I urge you to quickly leave. There's a job opening in Valley View. You'll be okay there and won't have any risk of being fired here. Take your children and move there. It's in your best interest. And why should I leave? I've done nothing wrong. Pack your things. You leave Honesdale tonight. Honesdale High School is suffering. Every day it gets worse and worse. I'm sure that's true. And the once honorable Marianne has done all of this. But I can't help but worry that you've come because of Marianne in an attempt to ruin my job here. I can assure you that's not what I'm meant to be here for. That may be true, but I still have the right to be worried. I guess there's no point in asking for your help getting Mary Ann fired. I can't believe you've left your wife and your kids back in Honesdale. Please don't think I'm trying to slander you, but I wish to keep my career safe. At this rate, the entire school is doomed. I know that what Mary Ann is doing is wrong. Our school is crumbling because of her, but I feel that if I were the head of the English department, that it would be much worse than what it is now. What do you mean? I am not fit to be head of the department. I am so much worse than Mary Ann will ever be. Wayne Highlands will fall with me as the head. No one is worse than Mary Ann. You have no idea of my love for tormenting students. I will belittle them and ensure that they hate school as much as I do. It would be ten times worse if I were the head over Mary Ann. That's okay. Many teachers are hard on their students and they don't care if they hate them or not. We'll make it so that teachers treat all their students the same. Then it will be fine. If I were the head of the department, I would make it impossible for students to hand their assignments in on time and make deadlines and due dates entirely too soon. You can grow past that and be like other teachers. You can do it to only some students. 
and then it'll have to be fine. No one will notice if, and you will be a good head of the department. You have bad qualities, but we can make them work. I am not fit to be the head at all. I have no redeeming qualities that a head may have. If I were the head of the department, I would abuse my power. Oh, Wayne Highlands, may Marianne have mercy on you. If you think I'm still fit to be the head, then tell me now. You are not fit to be the head of the English department. Actually, you shouldn't even be allowed to teach. Jennifer Burley was so kind to you, and this is what you do after she was fired because of Mary Ann. I feel as though I'm no longer able to go back to Holmesdale. There's no hope to save that school. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. You've proved that I can trust you, Kevin. I lied about what I do. I only said that as a test of your loyalty. I'm ready to take back my rightful position as the head of the English department. Hello? Is everything okay at Honesdale? Everything is still falling apart because of that blasted Marianne. How's my wife and my kids? They're good, but Marianne is still trying to get the administrators to back her up. Damn, it'll be okay. I will be coming back to Honesdale. Good. I'm sad to say, however, that there is some sad news. Well, what is it? Please don't be mad at me, but your wife and kids have moved to Valley View. Oh, this is just terrible. I can't believe this. It mu must be all Miss Marianne's fault. This is good. Turn your anger against her so we can ensure that she is fired. I'll do what I must. Good. Now let's go. We have an English teacher to defeat. Did you hear what happened to Mrs. Burley or Mr. Macy? I heard she got a DUI. No, stupid, not that. I just heard she was going on vacation. Or maybe the administration's finally listening to us and saying that those teachers are crazy when they give out those assignments. You guys are all big dumb. I heard that Mrs. Burley got fired because Mrs. Daniels messed with her. What? Yeah, apparently Mrs. Daniels hates stinky feet. I guess she complained and got Mrs. Burley fired. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, and Mr. Macy got fired too. Thank God though, I still haven't turned in my single paper. How do you know about that? Is it true, Mr. Arnold? No. Mr. Arnold, you good? I have to get out of here. I told them, now it's just a matter of waiting for the administration. Well, what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Let's show Marianne we mean business. Talk loudly. Let her hear us. Did you hear that Mr. Arnone quit his job? He turned in his resignation notice yesterday. Wait, what? He quit? Apparently some students said something that freaked him out. It's over, Marianne. Oh, what do you mean it's over? I've been here longer than you have. You can't get me fired. It doesn't matter how long I've been here for the betterment of the department. You've taken too many breaks to have any power in this department. Your attempts to better your teaching by taking all these classes aren't worth it. It's too late. I've already contacted Petro. It's just a matter of time. Mrs. Watson, Daniels got fired. What? Where do we go from here? The department needs a leader. Mr. Petro said you could do it. I know you can do it. Behind the scenes. Oh, wow. I can't. I can't read it. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I was so silly. Is that what you guys think? Yeah. At this rate, you can honestly say goodbye to holding any normal. Oh my god! Can you just cue me to action? The high school is getting worse and worse. I'm sure that's true. And the once honorable Mary Ann has done all of this. But I can't help but worry that you've become. That you've come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate this school. It's over, Marianne. What do you mean it's over? You can't, you can't touch me. You can't get me fired. It doesn't matter. What? I did it I... three, two. Hello, Mr. Daniel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, Joe.